I'm doing an album now of my music. A few years ago, that maybe with my cancer and whatnot, that I would not uh, be around. So in this album, I wanted to do the song Remember. It's a beautiful song. And I was going to ask Michael and Johnny Mathis if they would collaborate and do such a song. And so I thought that such a song, Remember Me, what it was, was a beautiful song for Michael, never, ever dreaming that Michael would be gone. And the song said, you will hear me, you know, speaking across uh, the wind or the stars. You know, I will come to you. And as long as you can, in other words, think of uh, the good work that I've done, you will remember me. And uh, man, you know, Anything that Michael does today, all we can think of are the things that bring him fondly to our remembrance. So talking about your album, yes, I know you've been quite a vocalist. Do you still sing? No, I lost my voice. And now... I mean, God knew that if I sang, I would never have preached. So he took it. And so I've been preaching and preaching, and now in the closing days, months, weeks, and years of my life, he's given me back my violin. Your music. And my music, and now my voice is coming back. So I will sing on this album, God willing. And when can we expect the album? Sometime next year. Who else is on it? Oh, man. <clears throat> it's an album that has, listen, Muslims, Christians, Jews, Buddhists, agnostics, black, white, Asian. And, you know, it's it says something that Maybe I have not communicated in my words because my focus has always been to lift black people. But when I almost died uh, from this cancer and people all over the world prayed for me, there were Jewish people that prayed for me, there were Christians that fasted and had prayer vigils for me. There were Buddhists that uh, chanted for me. There were yoga. There were, oh my Lord. So how could I come out of that experience with just a focus on the suffering of black people when it seems like all humanity is suffering? So the music is universal on the album, uh, flanking me in one of my violin works, I'm not going to call the name yet, but is the principal cellist of the Hollywood Bowl Symphony, the principal violist of the Berlin Philharmonic, many great, great um, mu musicians, but I don't know, where, of course, you probably heard of uh, Denise Williams. Of course. She's on the album. Um, um, have you heard of Jimmy Scott? You mean Jill Scott? No, not Jill. Oh. Jimmy Scott, who was the inspiration for Nancy Wilson. Mm. He's 83 or going on 84 years of age. He has a high-pitched, beautiful voice. And uh, we recorded him. And um, hopefully soon uh, Shaka Khan uh, will be uh, doing something uh, with us and uh, closing out uh, 
<clears throat> the album. They're writing something that may not come out on this album, but in the next one, it's a Motown concerto. Mm.